right, so this is a video supplement to the AP Physics 1 exam review for kinematics. Um, so if you guys haven't seen that video, I would recommend checking that out after trying to solve this problem. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So you drop a ball from rest from 200 meter high cliff. So the ball is dropped from rest. Assuming air resistance is negligible, what is the ball's velocity just before striking the ground at the base of the cliff? So let's write out our known variables, which is a strategy we wanna use for kinematics. So the first thing that I know is that the Y displacement is gonna be negative 200 meters. Um, that's because we identified the top of the cliff, the top of the 200 meters as the zero point line. Um, so if you drop something below that 200 meters, that's gonna be the negative. Um, the next thing that I want to take note of is the acceleration in the Y direction. And since this is a ball we're just dropping from rest from a cliff, it's going to be in free fall. And any object in free fall on Earth is going to experience a gravitational um, constant of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, another thing is it's dropped from rest, so the initial velocity is just going to be 0 meters per second. And we want to find the ball's velocity just before striking the ground. So that is what we're going to be solving for the final velocity now if you think about it the final velocity is zero right when it hits the ground that's technically the final velocity but for our case we want to find the velocity just before striking the ground all right so let's pick out one of our equations that has these three known variables and can help us find the final variable and that equation is going to be velocity squared final velocity squared uh, initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration in the y direction, and then our displacement, or just y. So yeah, now let's just plug in our numbers. So our v squared is just gonna be unknown for now. Our initial velocity squared is just zero. So zero squared is zero, plus two times the uh, negative 9.8, because that's our acceleration, and then our y displacement, which is negative 200. So we have two negative numbers here, and that's going to give us a positive. And so what we're going to get is v squared. I think there's a lot of me, right? So we're going to get v squared equals the square root, because we want to take the square root of both sides of 2 times 0.8, negative 200. I'm going to plug this into our calculator, and we're going to get our final velocity as 62.57 meters per second. 